بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah the most compassionate most merciful Relate to them in truth of prophet the story of Adam's two sons how each offered a sacrifice Abel's offering was accepted while Cain's was not so Cain threatened I will kill you his brother replied Allah only accepts the offering of the sincerely devout If you raise your hand to kill me I will not raise mine to kill you because I fear Allah the Lord of all worlds I want to let you bear your sin against me along with your other sins then you will be one of those destined to the fire and that is the reward of the wrong doers yet Cain convinced himself to kill his brother so he killed him becoming a loser then Allah sent a crow digging a grave in the ground for a dead crow in order to show him how to bury the corpse of his brother he cried alas have i even failed to be like this crow and bury the corpse of my brother so he became regretful that is why we ordain for the children of israel that whoever takes a life unless as a punishment for murder or mischief in the land it will be as if they kill all of humanity and whoever saves a life it will be as if they saved all of humanity although our messengers already came to them with clear proofs many of them still transgressed afterwards through the land indeed the penalty for those who wage war against allah and his messenger and spread mischief in the land is death crucifixion cutting off their hands and feet on opposite sides or exile from the land this penalty is a disgrace for them in this world and they will suffer a tremendous punishment in the hereafter as for those who repent before you seize them then know that allah is all forgiving most merciful o believers be mindful of allah and seek what brings you closer to him and struggle in his way so you may be successful as for the disbelievers even if they were to possess everything in the world twice over and offer it all to ransom themselves from the punishment of the day of judgment it would never be accepted from them and they will suffer a painful punishment they will be desperate to get out of the fire but they will never be able to and they will suffer an everlasting punishment as for male and female thieves cut off their hands for what they have done a deterrent from allah and allah is almighty all wise but whoever repents after their wrong doing and mends their ways allah will surely turn to them in forgiveness indeed allah is all forgiving most merciful do you not know that the kingdom of the heavens and the earth belongs to allah alone he punishes whoever he wills and forgives whoever he wills and allah is most capable of everything O messenger do not grieve for those who raise to disbelieve those who say we believe with their tongues but their hearts are in disbelief nor those among the jews who eagerly listen to lies attentive to those who are too arrogant to come to you they distort the scripture taking rulings out of context then say if this is the ruling you get from muhammad accept it if not beware whoever allah allows to be deluded you can never be of any help to them against allah it is not allah's will to purify their hearts for them is disgrace in this world and they will suffer a tremendous punishment in the hereafter they eagerly listen to falsehood and consume forbidden gain so if they come to you or prophet either judge between them or turn away from them if you turn away from them 
they cannot harm you whatsoever. But if you judge between them, then do so with justice. Surely Allah loves those who are just. But why do they come to you for judgment when they already have the Torah containing Allah's judgment? Then they turn away after all. They are not true believers. Indeed, we revealed the Torah containing guidance and light by which the prophets who submitted themselves to Allah made judgments for Jews. So too did the rabbis and scholars judge according to Allah's book with which they were entrusted and of which they were made keepers. So do not fear the people, fear me, nor trade my revelations for a fleeting gain. And those who do not judge by what Allah has revealed are truly the disbelievers. We ordain for them in the Torah a life for a life, an eye for an eye, a nose for a nose, an ear for an ear, a tooth for a tooth, and for wounds equal retaliation. But whoever waves it charitably, it will be atonement for them, and those who do not judge by what Allah has revealed are truly the wrongdoers. Then in the footsteps of the prophets, we sent Jesus, son of Mary, confirming the Torah revealed before him, and we gave him the gospel containing guidance and light, and confirming what was revealed in the Torah, a guide and a lesson to the God-fearing. So let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed in it, and those who do not judge by what Allah has revealed are truly the rebellious. We have revealed to you, O Prophet, this book with the truth as a confirmation of previous scriptures and a supreme authority on them. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed and do not follow their desires over the truth that has come to you. To each of you, we have ordained a code of law and a way of life. If Allah had willed, he would have made you one community, but his will is to test you with what he has given each of you. So compete with one another in doing good. To Allah you will all return, then he will inform you of the truth regarding your differences. And judge between them, O Prophet, by what Allah has revealed, and do not follow their desires, and beware. So they do not lure you away from some of what Allah has revealed to you. If they turn away from Allah's judgment, then know that it is Allah's will to repay them for some of their sins, and that many people are indeed rebellious. Is it the judgment of pre-Islamic ignorance they seek? Who could be a better judge than Allah for people of sure faith? O believers, take neither Jews nor Christians as guardians. They are guardians of each other. Whoever does so will be counted as one of them. Surely Allah does not guide the wrongdoing people. You see those with sickness in their hearts, racing for their guardianship, saying in justification, we fear a turn of fortune will strike us. But perhaps Allah will bring about your victory or another favor by his command, and they will regret what they have hidden in their hearts. Only then the believers will ask one another, Are these the ones who swore solemn oaths by Allah that they were with you? Their deeds have been in vain, so they have become losers. O believers, Whoever among you abandons their faith, Allah will replace them with others who love him and are loved by him. They will be humble with the believers, but firm towards the disbelievers, struggling in the way of Allah, fearing no blame from anyone. This is the favor of Allah. He grants it to whoever he wills, and Allah is all-bountiful, all-knowing. Your only guardians are Allah his messenger and fellow believers 
who establish prayer and pay alms tax with humility. Whoever allies themselves with Allah, His Messenger, and fellow believers, then it is certainly Allah's party that will prevail. O believers, do not seek the guardianship of those given the scripture before you and the disbelievers who have made your faith a mockery and amusement and be mindful of Allah if you are truly believers. When you call to prayer, they mock it in amusement. This is because they are a people without understanding. Sadaqallahu alayhi wa